Hello, Scorpio. What is happening? What is up with my Scorpios? Today we are going to do basically a little general forecast moving forward for the next six to eight weeks. Okay? Little general forecast, just some bonus material for the end of the month. We got the King of Pentacles showing his face for you here already. We'll see if that dude decides to come back out. Anyway, before we get started, if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading, let me please look in the description box of this video. And yes, that is the only way to schedule a personal reading with me, okay? So first, I'm going to start off with a quick vibration check between you and the person that you're dealing with. Quick vibe check here to see how your all's energies are behaving. Person that you're dealing with, interested in, or connecting with. Quick vibe check here for Scorpio. Do, 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 do. Ooh, the nine of wands could be a fire sign for some of you. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo doesn't have to be. Ooh, man, somebody's got their guard up, though. Okay, I really feel like that's you. Could be both of you, though. Both of you could really be guarded. You know, I don't trust you. Even if we are in communication, before we even start talking, I'm automatically prepared for you to be coming at my throat. You know what I mean? Again, that could be both of you towards each other, but... Uh, Ooh, that energy uh, could create some some rocky tension between the two of you. Well, let's get four shuffles here. One, two, three, and four. The magician overall, okay. Could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Oh, I also have Aquarius here. Okay. All right. So the person that you're dealing with, I really feel like they're getting over this, honestly. Okay. I feel like they're, they're it, this bothered them at first. Don't get it twisted. It, it did take them a minute to get over this. This isn't something that, that they just never cared about. Okay. But it really, I really feel like they feel a sense of completion here. Okay. Five of Cups reverse, Ten of Wands in the reverse. And you, very similarly, Nine of Swords in the reverse. This is a final decision. Okay, there's no turning back. I don't really feel like you would even, like, for a while you had this battle going on inside your heart and mind, wondering, did I make the right decision? Am I doing the right thing? I see a big lack of self-trust here. Uh, did I do the right thing? Did I make the right decision? Am I on the right path? What would have happened if I would have done this? And you know that whole inner battle, but... Essentially, though, with the High Priestess reversed and the Two of Swords reversed, it's like, look, okay, whatever. Whatever decision I made is the one that I made. So if it was the wrong one, oh, well. You know, I'm not turning back. No turning back here, okay? Two of Cups reversed, Ace of Cups reversed. Two of Swords reversed. There's no turning back. No turning back from this here. Okay, I do still feel like you're holding on to a little bit of bitterness here, though. Could be an air sign for some of you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Still holding on to a little bit of bitterness, still a little bit angry. Okay, that's going to have to be dealt with big time, for sure. But let's look here at the most likely outcome and the best advice. Is anybody going to try to reconcile? I don't think it's going to be you, not based on that. Will anybody attempt to reconcile? Will there be communication? Or are you just moving forward and on to new, bigger, and better things? We are going to be reading new things coming in here in just a second, too. Most likely outcome and the best advice for Scorpio Universe moving forward for the next six to eight weeks. Okay, three of swords. Okay. Let's get three shuffles here. One. Two. And three. Page of Swords reversed. Ace of Wands. See, you're moving on to bigger and better things right now. But some of you kind of feel like you're stuck at a bit of like a standstill, you know. Uh, the Ace of Wands. Some of you are actually getting up and moving and traveling. Some of you. doesn't have to be. But uh, Ace of Cups reversed. Chariot reversed. Could be some, some of you could be a Cancer. Okay. I do feel like there's some silent stalking going on, but I don't see communication happening here. The best advice. Okay, keep doing what you're doing. However... There, yes, yes. Take off like a bat out of hell. Don't turn back. 
Okay. However, the Six of Cups is upright. It's very important that you completely relinquish and let go of any grudges that you're holding. Okay. And I hate to sound like this, but I don't care what happened. Now, I'm not downplaying, uh, you know, anything that anybody's been through. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what happened. You have to find a way to let it go. You have to. If you cling to a grudge, you are not doing anything but first keeping yourself on the karmic wheel. And second of all, holding yourself back from stepping up to the next frequency. Okay? You hold that grudge, it will express itself in physical form with any new person that comes into your life. It doesn't matter how deep you try to bury it, and you can bury this and never mention it again to anybody. It doesn't matter. Universe ain't that stupid. <laughs> Universe responds to what's really going on in here, okay? Let go of any grudges, okay? Forgive them for anything that they've done. That doesn't mean what they did is okay. That means you set yourself free from that vibrational trap. Forgive yourself for anything that you've done wrong, okay? That's probably one of the biggest things that holds people on the karmic wheel, you know? Even those of us who do learn how to forgive others, hey, that's great. That's very important. But if you don't forgive yourself, you're still on the karmic wheel. And don't try too hard to get people to like you, okay? You shouldn't have to work too hard to get somebody to understand your value and, and your, your, what you bring to the table, okay? If you can go inside with a clear conscience and a clean heart and say, I know what I bring to the table. I know that I bring nothing but honesty, loyalty, commitment, all these things that everybody says that they want, that's what I bring to the table. If you're too stupid to see that, that's not my fault. I'm not the one missing out. You are. Matter of fact, if you're too stupid to see and appreciate what I bring to the table, the universe is doing me a favor by getting you the hell out of my way. We wouldn't make a very good team anyway. Shift that perspective. You shouldn't have to work really hard to get somebody to notice you, to get somebody to appreciate you, or to get somebody to like you. Mm -hmm. Your person, when you attract your person, you won't have to make them see what you bring to the table. They'll see it. Matter of fact, they'll probably see it when nobody else does. They'll see things in you that you don't even know are there. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, let's look at new things coming in for Scorpio. New things coming in for Scorpio. Do -do -do. Knight of Cups. Da -da -da -ba -da -ba. Look, you got new stuff coming in here. Could be a water sign for some of you. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Let's get five shuffles. One. Two. Three more. Mm, King of Swords in the reverse. All right, some of you could be talking to somebody who's at a distance from you. And I still see you have that, um, that inner battle going on. You're still trying to, okay, here, hang on. Let me explain something to you, okay? Let me explain. Let me explain something to you. So, those of you who have been following me for a while have probably heard me say multiple times, it's very important to learn to distinguish the difference between your ego and your intuition. The reason being is because they get tangled up together, okay? Even the most intuitive people on the planet you're, if, you don't, if you don't have that distinction made between what's your ego and what's your intuition, they, inter, they, they get tangled up together and they get, they get confused. One gets confused for the other, okay? The minute you start trying to logically figure out your intuition and try to figure out how to, to recreate intuiting any situation to keep yourself safe from harm, that's your ego doing that, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. We just need to learn which one is which, and I see you all going through that right now. Oh, okay. Well, is that my intuition or is that my ego? That's your ego that's figuring that out. Mm-hmm. Yep. The ego doesn't know itself very well. Not really. It knows how to protect itself, but it doesn't really know everything that's going on inside of itself. Okay? It's very, very convoluted. But, but anyway, some of you could be talking to somebody at a distance right here, but I still see you having this battle up in your head. Okay? Again, you're still holding on to some bitterness from the past. Okay, could be an Aquarius. I also have Taurus here. I don't know. I don't really, yeah, see, I don't really feel like a lot of you are really ready to settle down and, uh, and commit to something right now. Okay? I really don't feel like it. You're up in your head. You're still transitioning on from the past. 
and you're still up in your head, you know, trying to figure things out, trying to figure out whether or not you made the right decision. Something new is coming in quick, though, coming in real quick. At least you're, you're closing out the past cycle, though, which is a good thing, okay, because that world is in the uprights. That's good. I see you, Scorpio. That's good. That's good. All right. Let's look a little bit more at this person's energy, this new person coming in. New person. Let's look a little bit at their energy. Let's see what their true intentions are and how they feel about you and how they perceive you. Do, 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 do. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Okay, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Four of Cups reversed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. The Lover's Card, Ace of Cups. Chariot, Ace of Wands reversed. Okie dokie. This looks very, very good, actually. Very positive. Okay? Those of you new to my style or new to my channel, I don't just say that. Okay? If you're used to those tarot card readers that sprinkle sugar all over your reading to make it sound all cute and fluffy and pretty, uh, this is not the channel for you. Okay? I read exactly what I see. I do. <laughs> you know, I, 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 so just when I say something like that, you best believe it's true. I'm not going to sprinkle sugar on your reading to make it sound cute. I'm not scared of your mean comments. I don't really care if you get mad at me and unsubscribe. Uh, I'm going to tell you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. That's just me. That's how I roll. So when I say this, you best believe it's true. This looks very, very positive. Very, very positive. Okay. Um, this person feels an incredibly intense connection. Some of you some of you could be dealing with a twin flame connection. That's not everybody, so don't just take that and run with it. But if you come to me and ask me if somebody is your twin flame, this is the only card that will answer that for me personally, okay, as a reader. Um, but even if it's not a twin flame connection, it's equally intense it, vibrationally. It's equally intense. But it's just not vibrationally the same, if that makes any sense, okay? This person doesn't want to pass up a good opportunity. But with the, hang on, the Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, both reversed. Ace of Cups and the Chariot card upright. They want to do this right. Okay, they want to do this right. They don't want to move too fast. They definitely don't want to push you away. Okay, they want to do this right. Ace of Pentacles is reversed too. Um, two of Wands reversed. They're very, very certain about what they want. This person isn't wishy-washy. You're not, if you're, if you're dealing with somebody who may, because I see you have that, that, you know, battle between heart and mind, wondering what this person really wants and how they see you. They're, they're doing their best that they can to move slow in a, in a more mature manner. Okay, well, let's take this slow. Let's move slow, you know, if that makes any sense. They don't want to push you away. They really don't. Okay, it could be a Virgo. Let's read all, all the major arcana here. I have Virgo. I have Cancer. I have Gemini. Virgo, Cancer, Gemini, okay? But they're not wishy-washy. They know exactly what they want, you know. Uh, but they want to take things slow so they don't push you away. Okay? They don't want to push you away. Let's look at actions this person is going to take. What actions is this person going to take towards Scorpio Universe? What actions will this person take towards Scorpio? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boom, the King of Swords, okay. All right, they're playing it very, very cool. They're playing it very cool. They don't want to weird you out and push you away and run you off. So they're, they may be coming across a little bit cold and detached, but trust me, they're not. They're not. With that Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Lover's Card, oh, trust and believe. They feel this a lot stronger than they appear to feel. And chariot reversed. Um, yeah, yeah, the Chariot reversed. Let's get three shuffles here. One. Two. And three. Ooh, the King of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Swords upright this time, okay. So, yeah, they're moving very, very slow. They're moving very, very slow. They, they want this to kind of go 
the it's kind of like okay whatever pace you want this to move at i'm willing to go with you no matter how strong i feel this no matter how bad i want this to take off and move fast i want this i want you to feel as comfortable as possible here okay so they don't want this to come to an end they're not going to put this to an end they feel a much stronger connection than what they appear to feel they want they want you to be comfortable okay they want you to feel as comfortable as possible so there yeah there, yeah it could be an aquarius i have sagittarius cancer um so they're taking this as slow as possible so that uh you feel comfortable and they don't push you away and they're definitely not opening up emotionally no they're not opening up emotionally they're too scared of pushing you away dude okay what is the best advice best advice for scorpio moving forward for the next six to eight weeks okay the eight of cups all right you need to leave the past in the past you need to completely walk away from the past, which I see you're already doing. Two more shuffles here. The devil in the reverse. Ten of swords, king of cups. Okay, okay, all right. You need to develop a healthy relationship between your logical and your emotional mind. It seems like most people are either one or the other, you know, or more one than the other. Um, and it seems like there's a lot of people out there that think one is better than the other, you know? Absolutely not. You need to have a healthy relationship between your logical side and your emotional side, okay? One is not better than the other. It's just there's a time and a place for everything, okay? Um, you need to throw in the white towel, leave the past in the past, heal up from that. Like I always say, what's your number one priority? Healing is your number one priority, okay? Um, do not enter into a sex-based connection. Some of you might want to hold off on intimacy for a little bit, okay? I know you're a Scorpio, and that's like asking a lion to eat a salad, but uh, it would help things energetically and vibrationally. Uh, you don't have to, though. You don't have to. Just be sure that you are being very cautious of your energy and that you're cleansing yourself very well, okay? Um, but you need to leave the past in the past and walk away from the past completely. There's a lot of potential between you and this new person here. Um, give it time, be patient and allow things to flow naturally. Okay. And it looks like with the six of wands here, the two of you could create something very, very, very worthwhile. If you put forth the right work and effort, you know how it goes. Potential is only potential energy. If it's, that potential isn't being utilized, we have nothing. Okay. So anyway, I feel like that was your message, Scorpio. I'm going to go ahead and end this reading here. I greatly appreciate every last one of you who continue to tune in, show up, and show love, support, and positive feedback on my channel every day, man. It, it makes my job worthwhile here on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to look in the description box of the video for information on how to schedule personal readings if you want one. And I'm out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you sometime between right now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all stay blessed.